being hugged by their father, three-year-old twins Ben and Max Clarence. But behind their smiles, the pair and their four-year-old sister Olivia suffered the pain of a muscle-weakening condition. Earlier this year, the three children were found dead at their family home in southwest London. Their mother, Tanya Clarence, who had a history of severe mental illness, admitted manslaughter by diminished responsibility. Today, she was detained in hospital. Her daily struggle eventually overwhelmed Tanya's ability to cope with the enormity of the task she faced. Ultimately, her story of dedication and love became a story of despair and utter hopelessness. Mrs. Clarence's husband, Gary, was in South Africa with their eldest child when the tragedy happened. The court heard she was suffering a major depressive episode. At the time, she acted in confusion. Inside their home, the lifeless children were found. They'd been tucked into their beds with their toys surrounding them, as if lying in state. Tanya Clarence had smothered them. She'd then attempted to take her own life. Sentencing her, Mr Justice Sweeney said, the prosecution accept that you loved all four of your children. Indeed, there is substantial body of evidence that they were happy and well looked after, and you were grief-stricken that Olivia, Max and Ben were destined to die early and before you. Just before their deaths, the family's much trusted social worker was replaced by a less experienced colleague. There now be a serious case review by Kingston Borough Council to ensure lessons can be learned on behalf of other families with disabled children. Tanya's depression was certainly not assisted by the constant pressure placed on the family by some individuals within the medical profession and social services. According to a psychiatrist, Tanya Clarence wouldn't have killed her children had she not been suffering from mental illness. She now won't be released from hospital until she's recovered.